Tony Stewart says Eldora Speedway is not for sale. Welcome back to Break Hard. I'm Matt. On Thursday night, the opening night for the Eldora Dream, the big late model race held at Eldora every year, Tony Stewart and Flow Racing addressed rumors that Eldora Speedway had been sold to Flow Racing, a rumor that apparently started on Wednesday evening. And I didn't see it, and I'm pretty in touch with most of the things that are happening in motorsports. So not to say it didn't happen, likely happened on Facebook, I think probably from one of those aggregator accounts, if I was going to guess, the ones that go for clicks. The, you know, the the absolute worst type of account out there. Either way, apparently this caused Tony Stewart's phone to blow up on Wednesday night. People asking if he had sold Eldora Speedway. And now let's be clear here. It, it's really not that far outside the realm of possibility if he did sell it. Because up to this point, he's been offloading his motorsport assets left and right basically over the last 12 months. So when you think about it, I mean, he sold off the All-Star Circuit of Champions to Kyle Larson and Brad Sweet, which is now the High Limit Series as we currently know it. He sold off SRX after it kind of folded to Skip Barber. Now he sold off his four NASCAR Cup Series charters along with Gene Haas and the NASCAR Xfinity Series team. So he has been offloading his assets here, but he talked to Flow Racing on Wednesday night and he had this to say. This track is not sold and it is not for sale, so. Uh... I really wish he came out and all Danny Boy Kane said, at no point, at no point. At no point, at no point. Was Eldora Speedway ever for sale? But it was never for sale, let's be honest here. Tony Stewart has owned this racetrack since 2004. When he bought it from Earl, he basically, you know, made a commitment to them that he wasn't going to change a thing. All he's done is continue to make that racetrack and those events better, right? Eldora hosts some of the biggest dirt races in the country at the moment. You have the Eldora Dream, you have the King's Royal, you have the World 100. The guy has a lot of big time events at this racetrack and eh, underneath Tony Stewart's leadership, this track has only gotten better. I don't see him offloading this asset. A few months ago, I made a video about Tony Stewart selling off said motorsport assets. And in that video, I said, I think the one asset that he has that is very safe outside of his drag racing team at this point is Eldora Speedway. He absolutely adores that place. He grew up racing there. It holds a very special place in his heart. I do not see Tony Stewart ever selling off Eldora, which is definitely for the best because I think underneath Tony Stewart's stewardship, Stewart's stewardship, uh, the track has absolutely become one of the, if not the best dirt track in the country in terms of like amenities, uh, just how the entire facility is run. Tony puts exactly into that racetrack what it needs. And if you've been there, it's a fantastic place to watch a race. And they've hosted some of the biggest races in dirt racing. I mean, obviously last year, they did the Sprint Car 1 million race. They've done it for the dirt late models as well before. They continually push the boundaries on sort of what what a dirt track should be and what a big time event on dirt should be, be and pay as well. Now, when it comes to the flow racing aspect of this, that part again is not entirely outside the realm of possibility. Flow racing, flow sports is trying to become a major player in the space, right? And I would argue that they already probably are the biggest player outside of Dirt Vision. Dirt Vision, of course, has all the brand equity that comes along with the World of Outlaws. Dirt Vision, World of Outlaws, same company. They have a fair amount of, of um, series and racetracks that are exclusive to Dirt Vision. And the one that is very exclusive to Dirt Vision is Knoxville Raceway, which of course is where the Knoxville Nationals happen at, probably the biggest dirt track in the country in terms of popularity. Eldora is right there. It's the 1A to 1B. So if Flow Racing can kind of have the Eldora side of things, Dirt Vision has the Knoxville side of things. Now you have two competing racetracks for the two competing uh, uh, streaming services. Now Dirt Vision does not own Knoxville and Flow Racing does not own Eldora. But the idea that Flow could possibly have bought Eldora isn't that crazy. Because again, I think they want to be a major player in this space and them having their own racetrack where they can have their series run at is certainly, you know, an interesting idea and proposal because that could become a marquee, you know, event for them track to have all the series that they currently have on their platform to come race there. But at the end of the day, Tony Stewart is not selling Eldora Speedway. Yes, he sold off his NASCAR Cup Series team, Xfinity Series team. Uh, at least three of the four charters have been sold off uh, and accounted for so far. We'll wait and see what happens with the Xfinity Series side of things. Uh, I've heard that they're trying to work on a structure to where some of the people that are involved with that will still own the Xfinity Series side of things. I've also heard that none of that is going to happen. So 
Tony probably is likely completely out of NASCAR by next year. And then that really leaves him with just his dirt team, assuming that continues on with um, Donnie Schatz and has Ford Performance on that vehicle as well. So that'll be interesting to see if that partnership continues. He, of course, has Tony Stewart Racing, where he fields a funny car for Matt Hagen, a top fuel car for himself now, uh, previously his wife, Leah Pruitt. And now he has Eldora. So the guy has really cleared up a lot of his commitments and a lot of the expenses that he had. And for Tony, obviously, he and Leah have talked openly about wanting to start a family and do all of that. Well, with the amount of assets he's offloaded over the last 12 months, the guy certainly doesn't have to worry about a college fund for for that uh, you know future children that he and his wife um, would like to have. Obviously, he's also selling his home in Columbus, Indiana, uh, as well for like $20 million or something like that. The last time I looked, it's a Bass Pro Shop just that you get to live in, which I maybe as like a child when I went into Bass Pro Shop, that seemed cool. Now I look at it and I'm like, man, that's a lot of upkeep right there, not only in property tax alone, but like, we have an entire river and ecosystem we also have to maintain in the house they have to make sure all this wood stays in good shape and then you got all the property to manage you have a lake now as well there's just a lot of upkeep with that and that's what happens when you get old kids is you start to look at things and being like i'd love to have a big house and then you sit back and you're like oh there's probably five air conditioners that work on that and the five air conditioners are not cheap then you're going to need multiple water heaters. There's $700 a pop at least for a decent water heater. Unless you get a a um, tankless water heater. Those are interesting. I recommend those if you, you haven't had one before. But then you look at the upkeep. Why are we talking about the upkeep? doesn't matter. Tony Stewart is not selling Eldora Speedway. And that's good news for everybody. The dirt racing community and just motorsports in general. Because... Eldora is a big enough racetrack where it could attract a really interested buyer. Don't get me wrong. But I think that Eldora and its legacy and future are much better in the hands of Tony Stewart than in the hands of anybody else at this point. It's like when Roger bought the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Roger Penske might not be a great IndyCar owner. He's actually not a good IndyCar owner for the series, but he is a great racetrack owner because that track was already a fantastic facility. It is now next level. They've done some amazing upgrades there to really help out the fan experience as well as the teams um, as well. And I don't know if anybody else would have had that same care for it as somebody like Roger Penske does. So on that aspect, I absolutely love the fact that he owns a Speedway the same way I like that Tony Stewart owns Eldora. When you have a personal connection to the place, you're always going to want to make sure that it remains the best possible version of itself it can be. And Tony Stewart is not selling Eldora Speedway. So let me know in the comments what you think. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at Break Hard, Instagram and Twitter at Break Hard Blog.